And maybe this is the first thing that locks God out of working miracles in our life. The first kryptonite, spiritual kryptonite that works, renders God powerless to work on our behalf. Maybe God doesn't work on our behalf because our plans really don't need God to be able to work. See, numbers can't restrain God. Come on now. Numbers don't affect God, but our lack of imagination can arrest God, rendering him powerless to help us. I can picture the Maytag man. Y'all know that commercial, right? The Maytag repair man, just sitting there in a white, very sterile environment, waiting for work, twiddling his thumbs, nothing to do. Why? Because Maytag machines work so well. The Maytag uh, repairman has no work to do. Do we have God stuck in some Maytag machine man type of room where our plans will work with him or without him? And so really, there is no need for God to be involved in our plans. In fact, God sits underutilized on the sidelines, waiting for a call to put broken lives back together. Our thoughts are safe enough and tame enough that we could pull it off by ourselves, absent any divine intervention. And I know, I know Jonathan's plans were reckless, if you could even call them plans. But today, the greater danger is that when there is no element for God to step in, our safe bets end up robbing God of his sovereignty. So today, my encouragement is don't restrain God in your plans. Give him some room to work. Amen. 